I'm in a place called Enfield Green near the town of Windsor in England. In the summer of 1956, Marilyn Monroe and her then husband, playwright Arthur Miller, flew into Heathrow Airport. Monroe was set to star alongside Laurence Olivier in the film The Prince and the Showgirl. They were greeted in Heathrow Airport by Laurence Olivier and Vivian Lee. As well as starring in the film, Laurence Olivier was the director and producer as well. It would turn out to be a tripled production with difficulties between Monroe and Olivier. Although the film performed very well in Britain, it was not so successful in the United States as other Monroe films. The film was being shot in Pinewood Studios and Marilyn would be in Britain for four months. This was Marilyn's first visit to Britain and it would turn out to be her only visit. At the other side of this drive is Parkside House and this is where she stayed for the duration of her visit. I found a photograph of some kids who were waiting to see Marilyn by this um, entrance to the house. As you can see the place has changed quite a bit since 1956. But apparently the house itself, or the exterior of the house anyway, is pretty much identical to how it was when Madeline was here. Just a little bit further down from the gates you can actually see the house. Madeline was accompanied by her husband Arthur Miller but there was a week when Arthur Miller had to return to the United States. During this week she was accompanied by a young man called Colin Clark. Colin Clark was a personal assistant on the film The Prince and the Showgirl. He would later write two books about his experience, The Prince, The Showgirl and Me, and My Week with Marilyn. The latter was made into a film of the same name in 2011, and it starred Michelle Williams as Marilyn. And the film was partly shot in Pinewood Studios, the same studios where Marilyn filmed the Prince and the Showgirl. The producers of My Week with Madeline also decided to film here, as the exterior of the house was largely unchanged. Just having a little bit of a wander around the countryside near the house. What I'm going to do now is go into London and show you some locations which are connected to Marilyn Monroe's stay in Britain. And I'll come back here for the final part of the video. This is the entrance to the world famous Savoy Hotel on the Strand. Marilyn Monroe was here on July 16th, 1956, where she held a press conference with Laurence Olivier to promote the film, even though they hadn't started filming it yet. And she was photographed waving to a crowd at the back of the hotel. So I'm going to try and find that spot now. Just on my way to the back of the hotel, just thought I'd show you this. Does this spot look familiar? This is where Bob Dylan recorded the video for Subterranean Homesick Blues. done two videos about Bob Dylan in the past and they've both crashed and burned so I hope I'm not jinxing this video by showing this. Okay I found the spot, I'm at the back of the hotel now. Now I believe the press conference must have been held in this room here as Madeleine Monroe was photographed waving to the crowds from this window. If you have a look at this window kind of in the centre there, it's kind of split in two. She was standing right there. I 
I had to look at the window frame and it is the, I'm pretty sure it's the same window frame. The window's got quite distinctive window handles, as you can see here on the left and on the right. And as you can see, they're the same ones. Well, most of the photographs were taken from inside the hotel looking out. But I did find one that was taken from the outside of the building. I think it must have been taken in this park here. There's a little bit muddy there, so I'm not going to go in there. But I'm pretty much in the same spot as where the photo was taken. This is the Empire Theatre. Marilyn Monroe attended the Royal Command performance here. And she had an opportunity to meet Queen Elizabeth II. Marilyn was presented to the Queen, but Arthur Miller was not. Other stars who were present in the theatre that night were Peter Finch, Bridget Bardot, and Marilyn's arch enemy, Joan Crawford. The Queen was aware that Marilyn was staying at Parkside House. Marilyn said that she and Arthur Miller lived it in Parkside House and that they had been going on bicycle rides in Windsor Great Park. And I'm back by Parkside House. Now the house got its name because it's located right next to Great Windsor Park. It's literally just behind the house there and there were some photos taken of Marilyn Monroe and Arthur Miller in the park so I'm gonna go and have a wander okay I'm in Windsor Great Park now it's owned by the Crown I'll just quote from their website Windsor Great Park is an ancient royal landscape of forest, grasslands, lakes and gardens. It covers 15,800 acres, stretching some 10 miles from Windsor Castle. And I believe if I walk far enough I'll be able to see Windsor Castle. Albeit from a couple of miles away. Wow, look at that. I wonder how old that tree was. Must have been hundreds of years old, I'd say. At least 200 years old, maybe three. What do you think? I don't want to get sidetracked too much, but I will show you a couple of things in the park. And this is the cow pond. Have a look around, see if there's a, a plaque with some information about this. Cow Pond Restoration, opened by Her Majesty the Queen, April 2012, Diamond Jubilee. Marilyn would certainly have seen this lake because it's quite close to Parkside House. There's some, I was going to say ducks. Are they ducks or the geese? Oh yeah, there must be ducks. <laughs> I'm not sure what breed these are, but they're very different to ducks I've seen in the past. If you are new to my channel, I'm a Welsh vlogger. I make videos about famous graves, filming locations and pop culture videos. If you like the video today, please subscribe. It's free to do so. I don't apologise for my strong Welsh accent, but I understand that it's probably a little bit mind-blowing for some people. But do subscribe anyway, you'll get used to the accent.
There's a pretty massive statue here. As you can see by... If you can see the person next to the statue there, gives you an idea how big this thing is. Just the other side of the statue, probably about two or three miles away, you can actually clearly see Windsor Castle. Marilyn and Arthur Miller were spotted riding bicycles in the park. And I believe I've located the exact spot where those photographs were taken. In one of the photos you can see Marilyn is kind of standing up on the bike. Obviously there was a little bit of a hill that she was riding up and there is a little bit of a gradient here. I believe this is the exact spot. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the spot. Everything seems to line up. We've got a little bit of a bend here and the path goes slightly downhill. The tree, just where the road starts to bend, you're not going to be able to line up the branches because over, over the years some of the branches will have been trimmed because it's by a path. You've got these um, bushes here that match up to the photos and go a little bit further back. It's like a little bit of a, I don't know, embankment or whatever here. This seems to be the spot where Madeline dismounted the bike. Kind of makes sense because just at the bottom of the hill there and to the left is the is the house. Okay guys, hope you liked the video today. Show's over now. We'll see you in the next one. Shake